Oh, sorry. Don't mind me. I'm just blind here. Be beautiful, they said. Hey guys, so I'm looking horrible, but that's going to change because... Oh, sorry. Don't mind me. I'm just blind here. Because in today's video, we are going to be doing a glam makeup. And the reason for that is because I wanted to try the Naked Palette. Naked Honey Palette. So why the hell not um, do this? So if you want to know what kind of look I'm going to be doing, because I don't even know myself, then keep watching. For primer, I'm going to use this High Glass NYX Face Primer. Honestly, I don't think this is the best primer NYX has done. I love pr NYX primers, but I don't see the difference in that one. So the first thing I'm going to use, I'm actually going to try this new Obsession Correct Orange to try and hide my bags under eyes because I haven't slept well in like the last two days. I've tried nothing, I've seen nothing about this concealer, so apparently I can't do anything. Ah, oh, oh, that's a lot. Okay. Right, so far, it's okay. It's a bit scary, but it's okay. I look like like a Viking or, or something like that. Oh my god, oh my god. Be beautiful, they said. Uh -huh. Right, for foundation, I'm gonna use the Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation, which is my favorite foundations of all the time. I'm just gonna put it for this to work. I think I've put too much orange concealer and this is not gonna blend well. Such a good start, huh? I wouldn't recommend to use that concealer just because, or not, maybe not that much. I mm, don't think this has been the smartest solution in my life. I'm gonna stop here. I'm gonna take this off, I'm gonna start again. Okay. okay. We are back. Kinda everything's gone. I'm gonna use the BLM Dot Makeup Spray. Okay, let's try this again. I'm gonna apply primer. And now we are gonna apply foundation directly. Good! <laughs> That's the color that we like. So now I am going to use the State Naked Concealer. Okay, now I'm gonna set my under eyes with the L'Oreal Infallible Translucent Powder. I actually really like this powder. I think I've talked about this before, but it's really good. Okay, so I am going to contour and I'm gonna use this new brush. I bought this brush in Berlin and I thought it would be cool to use. Also, it looks so nice. Okay, so I'm gonna use the Tarte Park with Princess face palette because I haven't used it since I got it um, on the Glossy Box Advent Calendar. I think I've only used it like twice and it deserves more. For my contour, I'm gonna take that color, Karat, this brush. Maybe that was too much. Right, so now I am going to take this brush and I'm gonna take the shade Princess Cut, Princess Cut or Angle. So I'm gonna take Angle and Princess Cut, both of them, as my bronzer. That looks really nice. A bit dark, but really nice. Actually, I'm gonna take a bit of the contour one and I'm gonna put it on my forehead. I'm not mad with this brush, but I think it might work better with cream products doesn't look bad so i'm actually glad i've used this because the last time i used it it didn't look great so i was like mm. but i'm really glad and i think I'm, i'll give it more use i'm gonna use the same brush and i'm gonna use this ofra blush in the shade punch swallow blush in the whoa that is very pigmented obviously it's very pigmented now we're gonna move into highlight, which I'm really excited for because I love this highlight. Okay, so this is the next high glass illumination powder and I love it because you touch it and it's cool. 
So I'm just gonna swallow my brush in this. Just leaves like a really nice bronzy color. Not bronzy, gold. And that's the pipes we're going to do with. Okay, so once the face is done, I'm really excited for this because it's time for eyeshadow. Um, I'm gonna use the um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, the original one, as my eyeshadow primer mixed with the concealer that we already put in here. Before that, I'm gonna apply the Filler Instinct by NYX on my lips. On my lips, on my lips. I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm gonna take the shade Flyby which is like a white no actually i'm gonna take sweet which is like a light pinky color and i'm gonna set my crease now i'm actually gonna take the brush that comes with the palette i think and i'm gonna take this the shade swarm 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 which is like a mustery color and i'm gonna put it on my crease oh, look at that that is beautiful and now i'm just gonna blend this Okay, now I'm gonna go with the shade Keeper, which is like a mushy orangey color, but like darker than the other one. And I'm just gonna pack it on the outer corner and I'm gonna blend to the inner. Okay, that is beautiful. Now I think I am going to go with, now I'm gonna go with the shimmers now, and then we'll fix the rest. I think I'm gonna go with Amber in the outer corner. I love eyeshadows, like urban eyeshadows, beautiful. Then I'm gonna go with golden in the middle. I'm actually gonna spray the brush just because one more. Pack it this, wow, look at that. And now I'm gonna take honey in the inner corner. It's real cool because we have like a kind of a gradient, gradient thing. I'm gonna go with the shade Amber again and I'm gonna pack it a little bit more. And now, I'm gonna take the other end of the brush, I'm gonna take Keeper again. I am going to blend this in. And now I'm gonna take a bit of Sting, which is a darker brown. I'm gonna put it just on the outer corner. I'm actually gonna take a smaller brush to work this in. Cool, now I'm gonna take a bit of amber again and I'm gonna pack it here in case we kind of got all those. Right, so that will be our... <sighs> yes, our eye. <laughs> I actually think it's beautiful. This is the only eyeshadow, like fancy eyeshadow I got. I have from Urban, but I think it's beautiful. So I'm gonna do my other eye out of camera and then I'm back to finish it up with the eyes. Okay. Okay, so these are the eyes. I'm back. I'm actually gonna take the shade Drip and I'm gonna pack it on my lower lash line and I'm gonna blend it a bit with Shrum. And now I'm gonna take a bit of that one. I'm gonna run it as my inner corner. I think I'm gonna need another brush for that. Let's put a bit of the highlight on the inner corner and on the brow. Okay, I'm actually gonna take a brown eye pencil, and this is the Rimmel Soft Coal Kajal Eyeliner. And I'm gonna run it on my lower lash line. And now I'm fine. So I'm going to do my eyelashes and for that I am going to use the Essence Lash Pencils Mascara. This mascara is really cheap and really good. I would say it's on the chunky side so you need to be aware of that. Okay now I'm gonna do my eyebrows with the Winky Lux Uni Brow Pencil. I'm gonna try and not do much movement because the eyelashes need to dry. Okay, now to set them, I am going to use the Morocco Brow Gel. It's not the best um, eyebrow gel I've ever tried, but it's the one I'm using just now until I find any. It's not bad though. I feel like I'm blind. I don't know what I've done, but I'm blind. I'm so in love with this palette, um, but I don't know what lipstick shall we do. I feel this might work. I'm not really sure, but we can try it. This is the Sephora 
um, cream lip stain in 23. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I am really, really happy with the result. I'm so glad I got the Naked Honey palette. I love it. And I will continue to use it. Like, I'm so in love with it. And the rest of the makeup was really good as well. I hope you guys enjoy this video and um, I hope you guys can get you know, like an idea of a glam makeup kind of thing without lashes or eyeliner because that's not gonna <laughs> and uh, this is everything for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and click that subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video bye